Hey friends, Robert Ham here with Ham Camera Company. I'm here to talk to you today about the new Box One. This is coming out on uh, January 15th or 20th. We got a fuzzy date for launch there, just depends on what works best. But uh, check it out, you can find more about it at the boxes back anywhere. We're launching hamcamera.com very soon, so have your browser set you know, for hamcamera.com. You will see all of that information here. We've even got a big launch and announcements going on all over the place with different, uh, very influential social medias and different bloggers out there. So we're excited about that. So if you'd like to know something about the ham camera, you're interested in what we've got going on and how we put this thing together, stay tuned. We're going to bring that to you right now. Friends, from the very beginning, I was interested with box cameras. About a year ago, I found one at my grandmother's house that just really, really, really uh, got me going. And I immediately knew when I saw it that I could improve on the design. I've known about box cameras forever, but just seeing my grandmother's photos, seeing the box camera that took pictures of my family for uh, generations, seeing the box camera that my grandmother's mother used, just really drew a connection for me that just really inspired me to move forward. I'd already been doing a lot of work with restoring old lenses and film cameras, specifically the Olympus 35 series, so I knew right away that I could do this. I could modernize the box camera. A couple things that stuck out, I wanted to have a really simple, easy to use user experience, just like in the, you know, 80 years ago, 100 years ago when people started taking photography as family photography, they'd buy a little brownie, they'd go take some photos, the film was already in it, they'd take it back to Kodak and it would be developed Developed. It was simple and easy for people to use. Today, we use so many cell phones and other means, we've gotten away from what it is to just take a photo. Cool part is, this camera right here can bring that back and modernize the box camera style for today's photography. And that's awesome. We've got newer emulsions and better lenses, different designs that can make things work better. I'd like to talk to you about that. Before we get into it, I show the blue one a lot because I'm really partial to this blue. This is the Weathered series. There's going to be three different series. We've got a, a standard black box edition. I'll talk about all these series later. We've got a weathered series like this, which is going to come in cyan, a uh, really red, and a something yellow. So it's weathered blue, really red, and something yellow like this. And then we've also got a, uh, a vintage series that comes with these uh, polished raised parts and then has beautiful leather inlay. Actually, it's leatherette, but like I said, we'll talk more about that. Let me share with you one thing at first. When I started putting this camera together, it was very important that the finishing details were very, very well put together. So as you can see here, we've actually aligned the print process. I'm using FDM printing right now in order to make sure that I can give a wood grain. And I've got a 10-step finishing process for this that gives it this beautiful look that you can see right there, okay? Uh, looking towards the back, towards the front, it has that weathered look. So we, we put all of those different things into mind. We think about how it's going to work. We think about how it's put together. Then we think about how we're going to finish it so that it looks nice together. And, and there you go. Now, when we look over at the standard edition, the black box edition, it will be offered just in black. And I'm still, uh, it's still FDM printed right here. And this is just a, a prototype, right? This is just to show you. But the black box edition will uh, probably not have much of a finish other than just a distressed look. Maybe we might do a, uh, a part of that wearing process on here to distress it. I'm still thinking about that because this one is priced uh, basically to move and ship for you so that you can pick one of these up and still have all of the really great optics on the inside that you would want. Finally, let's talk about the, uh, the Vintage Series. I'll bring this closer. The Vintage Series is going to use that 10-step weathering process in order to make the, uh, all of the sides, the flat pieces, uh, have that nice little uh, wood look to it and that nice feel to it. Because not only does the buffing and polishing and sanding uh, help the paint and the characteristic of the box come through, it also gives a different feel to the actual material itself. So it's got a very good tactile feel. Uh, we also polish the raised parts, which house our leatherette inlay. This is a vegan leather, which just means um, not made from animal parts. The reason that I chose to go with something like that is because I wanted a box that was stable over time and that these uh, that really look nice. So I'm able to get some really nice vegan leather. This is actually some, some more of the expensive kind, um, but the, the purpose of that is to just give you a good tactile feel all the way across. Now, as we've talked about it, let's move on to it. We're looking at the standard black box edition to be $79.99. We're looking at the weathered series to be $119.99. And we're looking at the vintage series right here to be $169.99 on the Kickstarter. And that's very important because um, it's, a, it, it's being able to get all of these optics put into here and then offering one 
that has a, a uh, an eighty dollar price tag basically is very very important for the Kickstarter to be successful and for you to be able to photograph. I wanted to bring one twenty photography to you in a box camera that was exceptional as well as affordable. And so in all of these price ranges, um, I think that we've done exactly that. Good news for anyone, no matter which one you buy, the same excellent optics will be used inside of this camera. And the cartridges that we have that go into this, it's about a 95 millimeter uh, focal length lens, the single element meniscus lens. It's an optical grade lens with coatings. It's really nice. And I'll show you some pictures. In fact, I've got one right now that I can show you taken with this camera, the blue one of my boy. And we're going to talk about how that happened, but real quickly, 95 millimeters. I've actually played with the focal length to bring it about 93 millimeters to the film, which gives me a front focusing distance that's a little bit closer using a big wide aperture. See, I used f5.6 for this. In an earlier video when I was just kind of rambling, I was talking about how we use the, uh, the focal lengths and the different apertures, and we know the depth of field and the near focus, far focus hyperfocal distance that allows us to create stuff like this. This kind of picture is something that's unprecedented with box camera. You just you photography. It's just not there. And the reason is box cameras, at least to my research, have never been offered in something as wide as an F56. And in fact, the box camera that we're offering right here, we have different apertures for it that you can uh, purchase separately, pinhole and everything else. It does obviously come with apertures. Um, that allow you to get great depth of field and depth of focus. Uh, but the important part about that is that you had to know where things were. Specifically for 5.6, that meant that my uh, close focus was right around 7 feet. My far, well actually more like 6 and a 3 quarter feet. My um, far focus was about 8 feet, 7 and a half feet, something right there. So I only had about a 2 foot window where I had to get my son and this tree together. It was also very dark. It was golden hour. So I had to move my car. I had an EV of 13 that I needed to get this at 1 200th of a second. So I had to move the car in order to turn the lights on so that you could see some of that rim lighting that's coming in at an angle from behind. That also gives him a little bit of light on the tree and darkness right there. And that means that I had to choose an area that had a background that was very far away from me so that the bokeh and the depth of field could be shown. This picture right here took me about 30 minutes to set up but it came out what I thought was awesome. And I know you guys are just seeing this on a screen, but there are some photos on the website. So I wanted to give an, uh, an example of how this came out. This is, this is excellent. I mean, this is ridiculously excellent. If you're, not in, if you're unknown, this is awesome. And I've been shooting all in black and white with the camera because I have it here at the house and I can develop it. But um, I guess I could also develop color. I'm just, I just I shoot black and white. So there'll be more pictures coming up soon. Let's talk about the process that we've got. The, this is a prototype model. In fact, everything that you've seen so far have all been prototypes, pre-releases. Although they're in working condition, then although they work, uh, they're not made out of a material that I would ever ship them with. And the material that I used to prototype and print was PLA because it's printer friendly. It's something that I can do in the home and not have any toxic fumes uh, going on about for my children. Now to print one of these boxes right now with my current technology takes me about one week to complete a box and obviously that's not something that would be very good on a mass production scale so the Kickstarter that we're launching here on January 15th through the 20th one of those days it just depends on what works best for all of our partners for getting out releases and, and everything that we're doing on social media um, what we what I need to do is part of that Kickstarter is funding the project so that I can purchase better equipment now I've been printing this on a monoprice mini select v2 printer which is real small gives me a basically a five inch by five inch by five inch print volume, which is everything I need, and allows me to print in the home 24-7 all the time. And that's what I do. And the PLA is not the strongest material or even the more heat resistant material that I would want to use. And because of that, I actually got in touch with Form Labs. Now, I made a video for you just a second ago and then my phone called and the video stopped and that sucked. So you didn't get to see me opening this, but this came to Am Camera Company here in Virginia Beach. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, this right here, is a rook that they sent. Now this thing um, is absolutely awesome. The print quality is amazing. I absolutely love it. This when I opened this up, I was just, I was blown away by the SLA print production. Uh, it's just the 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 overall value of it is great. So the idea would be that. Uh, when properly funded on Kickstarter, we would then move to a different print process from FDM to SLA. Now, 
Because of that, the SLA printing, because of the expense of it, the boxes will actually cost me quite a bit more to print via SLA printing. So by moving to that print production, there's very little to, if any, actual real profit after shipping in the boxes that are purchased at the funding level, at that $80 level. Uh, we begin to actually make some money once we get up to the, uh, the, the other level. And let's talk about that. If you didn't know, the standard black box edition is going to be available for $79.99, 80 bucks. The weathered series is going to be available at $119.99. Remember, that includes the 10-step process on there. All of these will have the same uh, internals, so you get the same great quality. The difference is uh, I didn't want anybody to have to pay more for a better lens. So I wanted you to be able to jump into this kind of photography uh, at whatever price point matched for you. And the number one thing that this Kickstarter will achieve for me is actually funding the business. So if all we sell are the less expensive ones, but they make enough money in order to fund the product and ship to you guys, and there's a little there's a little buffer in there, about 15% for any unexpected costs, maybe a little bit more. Shipping has been included in the pricing of these, so that unless you're shipping internationally, if you ship via the U.S., you will not pay for shipping. I'm covering that over USPS for you. So I'm trying to make and build this community up for you guys. Um, and finally, the the vintage series is uh, $169.99. And the reason that is is that uh, you're just paying for the different trim levels. These are obviously much more intricate. This includes the 10-step weathering process, as well as a pro polishing process for these raised pieces right there, as well as the inlay trimming and everything. So there's a big difference. But the biggest thing is you'll be able to have that opportunity at any trim level you choose to shoot with awesome images. Um, th there's something else that I'm offering. Hey, look, Ham Camera Company, if we fund this, I'm going to support you two very solid, very strong ways. The first way is through user forums. This is going to be a, a community-driven endeavor where you'll be able to go and post and have forums to, to mine, even some moderators, depending on those of you that are out there, where we can help other people get into the, into the uh, film photography space. There are different models that are coming out, uh, which is cool. If this funds, I do have two additional models that are in development but have not been prototyped at all. The most difficult one will be an Instax shooting model, which is pretty cool, but you can imagine it's very difficult to develop for. However, it is in the works. I've got some temp uh, very preliminary designs down for that. And uh, the other model is a uh, is a 35 millimeter, which is about 30% smaller, which is pretty cool depending on what you'd like. Of course, all coming in the same ones. Now, another thing that makes this camera interesting is the fact that we have interchangeable uh, lens system. Let me find one. So the current shipping model ships with a 95 millimeter uh, lens, uh, or, um, well, it's a 23 and a half millimeter lens focused at 95 millimeter focal length, giving us about a, uh, a uh, 57 millimeter full frame perspective. Let me take this apart for you. This is how you get your cartridge out. You pop off your little pressure tabbed uh, knobs that are your winding keys. You open the back, okay? And then you have your cartridge just slides out. Now, before we go in, you'll see that we've got a blacked out box with the photographer's felt on the side. Um, this right here looks like it needs a little extra stickiness for it. And so uh, it's real nice on the inside, keeps everything black. And you've also got a blacked out uh, structural element in the front that keeps everything together. When we look right here, you can actually see the cartridge and the lens. The lens is built into the cartridge, which means, guys, guys, you can change lenses and change your perspectives. So this is your standard. We're going to have a telephoto as well as a wide angle lens. But the one that it's going to ship with right off the bat is your standard, and you will be able to purchase additional cartridges later on to change your field of view. In fact, the whole idea of this modular camera is that this design would only have to be purchased once unless you wanted to buy more, the box, for whatever format you wanted to use, and then you could purchase different cartridges and apertures in order to upgrade your actual unit. How cool is that? So you can start off and build on it just like you would any other camera system. So that's pretty cool. Let's talk about some of the things that are going to come in the box. The box is in production by my graphic design team right now, but it's going to be a nice presentation box. We're looking at uh, a stark white box uh, in retail packaging with pictures on the front and the side, information on the back, UPC, all that stuff. Uh, we're also going to include a complete box camera in there, which will include uh, the box camera, the front, the back plates, two sets of knobs in case one set runs out, two spools, two open spools of uh, 120 just in case you've lost one. So we're going to come with two, as well as a quick start guide and a full user manual. How cool is that? I also want to say I'm giving these a lifetime warranty. As long as you register with me 
on the website and send in your proof of purchase, which I'll actually I already have for the Kickstarter, so you won't even need to do that. As long as you register it, I have a very simple guarantee. If there's anything wrong with your component, if there's anything wrong with it when you at any point in time during its use through normal wear and tear, it obviously wasn't stepped on or crushed, I will immediately replace it for you. That is a very special guarantee for you guys that will be starting this Kickstarter because you're backing us. And it also goes to show that I believe in the product that we have created. Now, that's where the better print process comes in. If I get into, if you guys help me fund and we get into this SLA printing right here, guys, we'll be able to pr print a box with engineering grade PL, um, SLA materials that you could stand on and it wouldn't crush. And that could survive heat up to about 280 degrees Celsius. <laughs> That's over 600 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means if you left it in your car, other than the film getting too hot, nothing would happen to the box. And so I'm excited to be able to bring that to you. These are the things I want to do and I want to be able to share with you. Currently, if I didn't say it, it takes me about a week to print a box, a complete box. Even if I went with FDM printing and chose better materials, I would still have to upgrade the printer materials or the actual printers in order to print quicker. With a partnership with a company like Form Labs, where everything is, is an automated process that can continue from a great, uh, great software to help me put them together, I can import these models that I've already created and allow them to print constantly with the dry stations and the racks that produce a very high quality product that then comes out with less finishing uh, or less like cleanup time and more finishing time. And those are the things that I'm really excited about. I want to bring you guys the best. I've got a working unit already. I'm so excited about all this. I don't know if you can tell. I hope that you are as well. Guys, leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think about the pricing. I feel pretty good about it in order to be able to bring it to you guys. And I want to let you know that this has been a labor of love that I want you to join me on. Man, as crazy as it sounds, Everybody I've talked about, people that have seen this camera on the streets, other film photographers in my area, they've loved it. And I hope that you guys love it as well. Guys, I'm Robert Ham with Ham Camera. You can find me over at Robert Ham Photography if you want to check out any of my professional work. I'm a professional wedding photographer. You can find anything you want about at the boxes back for the new box camera that we're bringing out. And very soon we'll be launching the website hamcamera.com. So go ahead and put that in your bookmarks. I want to thank you guys for watching and remind you that I will catch you on the flip side.